That's right, Kelly. It's been more than six weeks since Robin Gardner disappeared from an Aruban beach. Investigators have spent that time trying to figure out what happened to her. Tomorrow, they'll take a new approach, recreating her last moments. This isolated beach is the last place Robin Gardner was seen alive. And tomorrow, Aruban authorities are set to return to the scene of the crime. They're staging a reenactment more than six weeks after Gardner's disappearance. The whole key of reenactments is to try to go back and, first of all, understand and be clear about the movements of people prior to uh, a criminal act occurring. According to Good Morning America, at least two eyewitnesses will be part of the reenactment, which investigators are using to retrace the exact moments of Gardner and Gary Giordano. He's the one person some believe knows exactly what happened on August 2nd, but Giordano won't be there. Multiple sources on the island say he was asked to cooperate, but has refused. The Maryland man has claimed a strong current pulled Gardner out to sea while the pair were snorkeling. It may give them a better understanding, and it may also, of the crime, it may also give them uh, a better view of inconsistencies in his story. Giordano, seen in this surveillance video, traveled with Gardner to Aruba on July 31st. Three days later, they drove their rented white Toyota RAV4 to this beach restaurant, where a server who snapped these pictures told investigators Giordano's behavior seemed suspicious. About two hours later, Giordano reappears on those security cameras, banging on the doors of the closed restaurant, trying to get help. Gary Giordano has insisted he's innocent, but he's not taking any chances with his defense. He recently hired Jose Baez, the man who made big headlines back in July, winning an acquittal for a notorious client, Casey Anthony. Josie Sturman, ABC2 News.